3x3 basketball will make its Olympic debut in Tokyo in 2020. To find out more about this growing urban sport, we travelled to Budapest to catch up with one of Hungary's star players. Hi guys, I'm Dia Pop and I'm a two times World Cup silver medalist for the Hungarian national team. Dia used to play traditional five-on-five -five basketball before making the switch to 3x3. The 5 on 5 was so excited for me, but after the time when our coach, uh, the 3 x 3 coach, asked me to play 3 x 3 and uh, after I tried it, I said that, oh my god, it, it's much more fun than the 5 on 5, so I loved it for the first time. The rules of 3 x 3 are simple enough. It's, uh, the main thing is that you have to reach 21 points in 10 minutes and the shot clock violation is about 12 seconds. So it's a really fast game for the 3 x players. When you play 3 x basketball, you have a four people group team and the three is on the court and one is on the bench. And if the time is stopped, you can uh, switch players. Okay, so in the regular game, we play in full court, but in the 3x3 game, we only have a half court, so it's a bit smaller. In the regular game, when you score the three pointers, it counts three, but in the 3x3 game, when you score it, it only counts two points. And inside the three-point line, everything is count like uh, one pointer. It's a very fast and very tough and very enjoyable game, so I would recommend that. Earlier this year, Dia and the Hungarian women's side competed in the FIBA 3x3 World Cup, where they came away with a silver medal and received a lot of media attention back home. When we were at the World Cup, even the journalists and even the, the Hungarian National Basketball Federation was talking about us, asking about us that how is going, how we are, and uh, everybody really, really supported to us at the World Cup. Dia is already looking ahead to Tokyo. Thanks to Hungary's World Cup success, the team will compete in an Olympic qualifying tournament early next year for a spot at the Summer Olympics. I think every athlete dreams that maybe one day we'll uh, participate at the Olympic Games. And now it, uh, it's, it's real, it's real. We have a really chance to, to participate at the Olympic Games. So, so we, we really want to, to do anything to reach our goals, to be there. Only the first three team will automatically participate at the Tokyo Olympic Games, so it will be tough, it will be very hard, but I think, uh, I, I, I trust, I trust my team, I trust in my team, and I think we, we can do that. I think we will, we will be there and we can participate at the Tokyo Olympic Games, so we are excited about it. On our visit, Dia showed us around one of her favorite spots. This is Bikash part because it means bulls, so that's why it is. <laughs> when Dia isn't training or working as a qualified physiotherapist, you'll find her honing her game somewhere in the Hungarian capital. If you want to be a good 3x3 basketball player, you have to be a very skilled on ball and you have to be very fast uh, on the reaction and you have to read every single second that's happening on the court because it's so fast. So you have to react on every movement, uh, like on offense, like on defense, like on a, on a screen and on a cut and on a back door. And <laughs> of course you have to be a good shooter because everything is about the points <laughs> and uh, you only can win if you, if you can shoot as well as you can, so that's all. <laughs> we wish Dia Pap and the rest of the Hungarian team the best of luck in their bid to qualify for Tokyo 2020. Okay, now it's time to eat. Thank you, Transport Sports. Bye-bye.